Okay, this is the M1 paper from May 2022. This is question number two, which is a constant acceleration question, as we can see here, which means uh, I think about it being kinematics or SUVAT. Right, we've got a situation where we've got a motorbike, passes a point P, 10 seconds later passes a point Q. Speed of the motorbike as it passes Q is 28. Given that PQ is 220, can we find those two bits. Okay, well, I'm just going to focus on that first bit there. I always sort of draw a little diagram out just to help me. I don't think it's not necessary for this particular one because it's relatively straightforward in terms of the first part, but it's a good habit to get into. So we've got P there. 10 seconds later, it passes Q. That's 220 meters. And at that time, uh, the speed is equal to 28 meters per second and what they want us to do is to find acceleration so pretty much a classic SUVAT question part a so SUVAT I always do these in the same way I write down SUVAT I'm hoping that they will have given me three of the variables and I'll be working out the fourth one then I can use any of my equations if that's a scenario which it is in this case so let's get ahead and get going with it so in this particular case, I've got the S is equal to 220. They've not mentioned U at all at the moment. So I just put a dash for it. V is equal to 28. And that allows me now with A to write that as being the variable because that's what I'm looking for. And T is 10 seconds in this case. So yeah, this couldn't be any more classic SUVAT here. Which formula connects S, V, A and T? You need to have them all sorted out in your head, don't you? So uh, in this particular case, this is S equals VT minus a half AT squared. And now it's just a matter of substituting everything in and we'll be able to work out what A is. So we get 220 is equal to 28.10 minus a half. A is what I'm looking for. And T squared is 100 there. So just tidy it all up. 220 is 280 minus 50A, and I'm not going to rearrange this, you should be able to do it from there. A works out to be equal to 1.2 meters per second squared. You can always maybe train yourself to have a quick check, does that all make sense? As an absolute minimum, obviously it should be a positive acceleration there um, as we're going through. So yeah, no problem with part A. Part B then is a little bit more complicated and is going to take a little bit of unpicking here. So it says, find the distance traveled by the motorbike during the fifth second after passing P. Well, just be really careful about what that means. You might need to, in your, your own mind, just say, well, that's the first second. That's the second second. That's the third second. That's the fourth second. So here is the fifth second. Okay, from t equals four to t equals five. That's what I'm going to be working with. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily leave that on, it might not look too great for me. But t equals four to t equals five, I am gonna put that as part of my working out. Let's get rid of that. And hopefully that's a good way of explaining it to you. So it's from the fourth second to the fifth second that we're trying to work out the distance it's gone. So what we actually need to do is to go back to this original bit and say where I didn't have this U here, I now need to work that out first of all so that I've got enough information in my second part. U will stay as a constant throughout this work. A will stay as a constant throughout this work. Everything else can change. But as long as I'm considering from P to Q, then U's gonna start. So what I'm gonna do is first of all, let's work out what U is. So from V equals U plus AT, I can use the same SUVAT information here. I'll get 28 equals U plus one times two T. So we get 28 equals u plus 12, so u works out to be equal to 16. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out, let's just quickly explain what I'm gonna do. If I've got p starting off here, 
I'm gonna work out how far it goes to t equals four seconds. Then I'm gonna work out how far it goes to t equals five seconds. And then this little bit in here, the difference between those two distances will be how far it actually goes in that fifth second there, okay? Just need to explain that to the examiner in some sort of way so that they're happy as to what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna say, at t equals four, let's do my SUVAT again. So S, U, V, A, and T. I'm looking for S, so I want to try and find um, how far it's gone there. The U that I've just worked out is 16. I'm not interested in the velocity. The acceleration has remained constant all the way through, and I'm gonna put T equals four in. So again, just like I said a moment ago, I've got three and I'm looking for the fourth one. So brilliant, that means I will be able to find S there. What I'm then gonna do is to do T equals five, do exactly the same thing, work out the S for five, and then I'll be able to subtract those two. Let's crack on and do that. So S, U, A, and T. Well, if you've done any work on SUVAT, this shouldn't be a problem to you. S equals U, T plus half A, T squared, one of the more commonly used ones. So S is gonna be equal to, we've got everything. We're just putting everything in here. 16 times four plus half, 1.2 times four squared. Work that out. I'm not gonna take any time over working this bit out. You should be able to do stuff like that relatively straightforward. So we know that it's gone 73.6 meters when T equals four. Let's do exactly the same thing for T equals five now. So again, SUVAT. The S will be a new S. I want to know how far it's gone up five seconds. U stayed as 16, didn't it? V I'm not interested in. The acceleration was 1.2, and this time I'm doing it after five seconds. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. S equals UT plus half AT squared again. Plug everything in just like last time. 16, five plus a half. And it's, just be careful when you're doing all this. We don't wanna make any copying errors while we're doing this relatively straightforward substitution, that, if you work it all out, works out to be 95 meters. So in the fifth second, we're gonna get that S is equal to 95 minus that previous one, which was 73.6, which means it's 21.4 meters that it travels in that fifth second there. Okay, hopefully that makes sense, quite a convoluted second part.